This month marks 60 years since the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, and over these past six decades, serious questions have persisted about what happened that fateful day in Dallas, fueled by an intermittent drip of new revelations. Well, this Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern, our News Nation special report, Unsolved, the JFK assassination, will give you a closer look at firsthand accounts shedding new light on what eyewitnesses saw and heard that day. News Nation special correspondent Ross Coltart will host that special. Here's a preview of his conversation with a former Yale professor who's dedicated his life to uncovering the truth. For 60 years, Josiah Thompson has investigated that key question, who killed JFK? It was much easier to, to simply say Oswald did it, but he couldn't have done it. Thompson, a former Yale professor, has spent decades digging into the evidence, literally writing the book, casting doubts on the government's official lone gunman theory. Thompson says the evidence he's gathered proves the fatal shot came from the grassy knoll. Before retiring in 2011, Thompson worked as a private investigator for 35 years, including on high-profile criminal cases like the Patty Hearst kidnapping and the Oklahoma City bombing trial. And this Sunday, in our News Nation special report, he reveals whether he believes the government conspired to kill the president. Well, I'm sure that if the government wanted to reinvestigate the case, they would end up with the scenario that I've ended up with after 60 years of being with this case. That this scenario works. Also this Sunday, you'll meet Robert Groden, a photographic technician who took a copy of the Zapruder film while he worked for Life magazine. I have published the uh, testimony I got from the doctors. I went and made questioned them all myself, over 20 of them. Every single one of them said that the shot came from the front. How did they come to that conclusion? Because the exit wound was in the back of his head. To this day, he takes his research and theory very literally out in the open. Many weekends, you can find him selling books and videos on the infamous grassy knoll. Do you believe there was a, an active collusion by the Warren Commission members to suppress evidence that suggested a second shooter? Without question. And News Nation's special correspondent, Ross Colthart, joins us now. Hey, Ross, you know, it's incredible that 60 years later, there has still been so, there's so many people who were there that day who still have questions about what happened. Hi, Elizabeth. Yes, you're right. And the thing I find most extraordinary about this case, I've always been fascinated with the JFK case from Australia, where I first lived. And the thing that strikes me about it is when you look at the evidence, when you look at the number of witnesses, you know, there were 88 people, possibly as many as 100, who say that they saw smoke or heard shots from the grassy knoll. Most of them weren't interviewed by the Warren Commission. They weren't brought up before the Warren Commission. And there is a lot of evidence that the official government inquiry didn't investigate at the time. And I think a lot of the uh, story that we're telling this Sunday asks that question, why? Yeah. Why is it that the American people haven't been told about that other evidence? Well, let's talk about the new information you have, suggesting that the wound on the president's neck was actually an entrance wound, not an exit wound. If true, how does that change everything? Oh, it's basically what it means. If, if it was an entrance wound, it means that there was at least one other shooter on the grassy knoll, because that's where it's very likely that shot came from. And I do think, personally, the evidence is compelling. It's quite extraordinary. Witnesses saw puffs of smoke on the day, but I, I think the thing that really clinched it for me recently was talking to the Secret Service agent, now retired, Paul Landis, who was literally on the limousine running board in the car behind the president. He saw the president's head explode as he was hit by a bullet. And the confronting and shocking thing is that his recollection is that the shot came from the front left, i.e. from the grassy knoll. Thanks.
thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.